caught a few um, caught a few glimpses of him. He seems happy, and I'm very happy for him. It's a little bit different having Mondays off, right? Just what's that been like, kind of getting used to a different practice schedule? Um, it's really been so. Coach the boy has done a good job, a great job of trying to emulate a game week through fall camp. So we always Monday was always kind of our off day, like we wouldn't practice on Monday. So just having that day to really reflect and really get schoolwork done. Um, and then it's also beneficial because on Sundays we just put that game to rest and we can focus on the next week opponent on Monday. Mm -hmm. So what will you be doing differently on Sundays this year as opposed to last year? So last year we came in here, We, um, if you had less than a certain amount of snaps, you would come in, you would lift, but if you had more than a certain amount of snaps, you would just come in, stretch out, roll out, uh, do a few runs, just to get the lactic acid out of your body. But this year we'll be, um, we'll have like, Almost a practice. I'm not. I'm not completely sure, but I know that Sunday is Sunday is also going to be kind of a work day. Obviously, not like a Tuesday or a Wednesday practice, but that'll give us Monday to really focus in on school. If you really wanted to get ahead of it, you, get all your school work done for the week and just focus on football from then on out. This being your first you know, real practice of the week, like you said, how was the intensity, the physicality? Of it? it was good. It could definitely get better, and that's the thing about that's the thing about practice throughout the week of a game week. Like you're always going to get better through the week. Uh, you start learning more about the defense that you're playing. The, um, you start really learning more about yourself, what you need to work on that week. So you always want your best practice to be on that Wednesday or Thursday. Going up against guys like Quay Russo in practice, what makes Quay so physical as a linebacker coming off that edge? Quay has a really good explosion. Quay is um, really quick. He's very strong as well. And since Quay has gone here, he's really been a student of the game. Like He's always asking questions how to get better. He's always in the training room taking care of his body, always getting extra work after lift. So I'm very excited to see how he performs this year. What have you seen from Wilkin and from uh, Pritchett as they both competed for that right tackle spot? Um, Wilkin and Pritchett have both done a great job. They're both competing. They're both doing very well. They both have things to work on, but I'm very excited to see how they perform this weekend. I think last year we talked about it takes time. All good things take time, I think is what you said. Oh, yeah. How much of a learning curve do you think there will be this year with the new coaching staff and the new players? Just, do you expect everything to come together? Um, I fair. I don't think it, I don't expect everything to come together. I feel like our, our best game should be our last one. That means we, that means we would have gotten better every week, found something to find to in every week. So obviously, week one isn't going to be our best game, but we're still going to go out there and play Alabama football, which is fast, physical, and free. Coach Sheridan told us yesterday that he's seen a lot of growth from the offensive line since fall camp started. Where have you seen growth, and in, in what areas have you seen that? Um, really intensity in the way guys approach the game. So you got to think about it. only me, me, Caden Proctor. Jaden Roberts and Parker, four out of about 20 guys in the whole room have had like real game, and Altino as well, have had five out of 20 guys have had real game experience. So we know how to practice. We know how to come out and work. We know we, we just have more experience than some of the other guys. So the growth came with teaching the other guys certain things, the other guys watching us, understanding how to how to practice, how to um, how to learn from yourself, how to learn from others. So that's where we're really growing in the maturity aspect of it. Speaking of Parker, what does he bring to that center position? Um, Parker brings a whole lot of knowledge and a whole lot of explosion. Uh, I love playing next to him, and I can't wait to play a real game next to him. All right, thank you. Thanks, Appreciate you.